Right, welcome back to another game folks. Today we're playing the German security company against American um, glider infantry. Um, Brian is defending with the uh, the uh, glider infantry. So Brian, if you maybe want to tell us what's in the list and what you've got on in, in reserve. Okay, so this is the uh, glider rifle um, list from Nuts. Um, those who have been watching some of these videos will recognise this army from a couple of games we've played already. It's got 10 units in it, um, which is very handy. So with this, it's half on, half off. So the four units I've got on at the moment is my um, engineers, uh, which I, these are my go-to guys for any hard objectives that have got to be held. So I've got an engineer platoon here with extra bazookas added in as well. Been joined by my two IC. Towards the back of the table, I've got two um, of the small 105 um, gun platoons. The idea of having the two is you can either fire independently or all guns repeat on one target if I'm lucky enough to get in in the first turn. And the fourth um, platoon on the table is a smaller rifle squad with some bazooka swap outs as well. The fifth I've got in ambush is um, my anti tank guns with jeeps and bazookas. Um, my favourite is just to go off and do some anti tank hunting as well when something moves down the table towards me. The five off, I've got a larger um, um, rifle platoon, this gives me my two compulsory platoons. I've got a mortar platoon with four 81mm mortars. I have got a machine gun platoon and I've got a recon platoon. Um, and to support that, I've then got a, a weapons platoon as well. Um, additionally, I've got an AOP and a priority thunderbolt. So I've got ten platoons plus the thunderbolt and the AOP. Confident veteran from nuts. And some nasty barbed wire to snag my poor guys. My army is largely reluctant trained. I've got three platoons of security, um, well, three security platoons. Reluctant trained, they've only got rifles. I've attached a, a couple of heavy machine guns to a couple of the platoons. Um, and I've got another one of them over here. Now they've got some backup from reluctant trained 88s. And to be honest, as they're not really moving anywhere, I've got transports but they won't move anywhere. They're actually going to get used as anti-aircraft in this game. Um, they've also got some Pac 36s, once again reluctant trained. Uh, it'd be hard to get them into the game. Um, from the Company HQ section, they've got a couple of mortars commanded by the Company 2nd in command. Um, they have got uh, a pair of infantry guns um, and to back that oh I and one armor car as a scout platoon. Now for backup they've got confident veteran broom bars, they've got four of them, two elephants, and then the um the armor train without the assault car. So they've got two heavy artillery batteries. Uh, and Brian was uh, concerned about when positioning the tracks this was going to come right in the face of his army so he started it over in this corner. And in that situation, the best for me is actually to be in this corner. Otherwise, I'm going to drag myself across the front of my advance and then I can use the train as uh, an artillery platoon, which is actually what's, what it is as an option in your list. So they count as two batteries of 10cm uh, guns, so they can be quite useful. And it's got some anti-aircraft if the planes get too close. Now, Brian placed his first objective here, so it's a long way to go to get that. Um, and then whenever anyone places an objective in a corner like that, terrain permit and I'll stick one in the far corner uh, to try and separate them, stop them supporting each other. So I've got one over there. So the mission's no retreat. The objectives are live from turn one. Germans get first turn and the Americans start rolling for reserves from turn one. Um, and we'll see what the Thunderbolts do. Now, just because we've got prepared position as well, I opted to put in three um, barbed wire. So I've just strung it out in front of this front objective because I think my biggest threat is going to be from the infantry coming in so hopefully that will slow them down a bit moving in as well. Okay so we'll come back at the end of German turn one because um, I think by the end of German turn two there might not be that many Germans left. <laughs> the end of German turn one has really just been moving up. Um, these guns doubled the wee guns, I've no idea what I'm going to do with them. Um, the Ferdinands have been moving up and the Stormtrooper to get an extra move as did the Splatoon of Infantry and the Broom Bars. Over in the town, one platoon has stayed dug in, another platoon started moving up into the um, bulletproof cover by these craters and that building. Uh, 
the, uh, the eight eights had nothing to do. So for firing, I really thought I'm just going to try and put a bit of a smoke bombardment down. But to be honest, the terrain in this um, particular viewpoint is really hard for me to even see uh, uh, Brian's platoons because you've got this wood and this hill. And that I wanted to try and smoke over there before these guys move up. So I'll have to see what I can do with that. So the only thing I managed for smoking was to get an observer. There's another observer, however, all the way over here, and I fired two batteries, I smoke at him and missed. Um, I'm expecting his EOP to show up, but I can do some anti-aircraft fire against that, I would imagine, so I might be able to take that out. So, um, end of gem turn one, just moving up, and let's see what the Yanks can do. Okay, so the end of American turn one, I rolled for reserves and got no reserves. I decided to go for the plane because as his armour gets closer I need to start using the plane in the early rounds so I rolled and got one plane on and managed to go for the um, Ferdinand at the back just to try and reduce the amount of anti-aircraft fire it did mean because he was near the building I'd have to range in but if I'd come out for the front Ferdinand there was more anti-aircraft to potentially go for me um, so I decided then um, first of all no movement and no shooting with infantry but decided because this observer um, was smoked to use the single observer and I think I called it all guns repeat in the intro but it's actually hitting with everything you've got where I can combine my two artillery units and I went and ranged in on the middle um, broom bar so I managed to range in um, there was a potential bail which was fine but I've got one kill um, so I hit three, saved his bail, saved but uh, killed um, and that was the artillery bombardment. I then had a go with the plane. I managed to range in, although he was next to the building. Um, because I was on a single plane, though, I took the shots with my bombs, hit my first shot, filled with the second reroll. And I went for the observer, hit my first shot, but then filled in the reroll. So no damage with the plane. But I had to keep going for these, these, these big tanks coming in. So at the moment, um, taking out one broom bar, um, lifted some artillery in, but. Uh, End of American turn one. End of German turn two. Um, the elephants have kept moving up. I'm hoping to try and kill some guns with them, to be honest. Uh, one broom bar stays still, the other two moved. The infantry kept moving up, as did the guns. The um, infantry over here have stayed put just now. And in terms of firing, the mortars tried to smoke this observer and missed. Uh, the infantry guns managed to put smoke down over here. Um, the trains, I decided I'm just going to fire them with the veteran artillery so they might do some damage. And I've ranged in now in a good position um, against those um, guns. I, uh, I hit one, but I think he saved. Did he save? Yeah. The firepower in the guns, the train guns, isn't actually that good, but um, they're pinned. We'll see if they unpin. The elephant did a little move with a stormtrooper, as did the um, broom bars. Um, and the infantry, but still, oh sorry, and there was a bit of MG fire and one um, bunker buster fire, any of these guys, couple of hits, uh, one hit, sorry, but no damage, the infantry in that bulletproof cover now, they're in range, they can see them, they've started firing with the help of a machine gun, got two hits, but uh, three up saves are quite easy for them, so um, it's getting closer now, we'll have to see what happens and the Americans will have two dice for reserves next turn so let's see what they can get on and, and get up into the front line. Okay so this is the end of American turn two so I rolled for reserves with two dice and managed to get my larger um, rifle company on. Because of the protection of the, the, the scenery um, I managed to double tie them or trust it, trot them um, up um, because they're going to try and protect this objective moving forward. Um, the way my guns work, because I pinned down, I was failed to unpin, so rather than I couldn't move them, um, well, I could have moved, tried to move them sideways, but I decided to go to go on the ground because I really want to try and keep them there and keep firing for as long as they can and take the risk of, of the um, dug-in saves um, to help me in the next turn. Um, but I did fire this artillery bombardment onto, or tried to go for, um, the unit the other side of the wood here, but as you can see, failed to range in. Yeah, I only needed a four as well because I was going for the train guys. Yeah, so I then managed to bring in a plane. I had two planes, um, and I managed to just sit it back here a bit to try and reduce the amount of anti aircraft fire coming in. But I still got hit with an 88 and some anti aircraft from the train. 
which reduced me down to one flight coming in. And as you can see, because I had the one flight in the re-rolls, I failed to attack his uh, Ferdinand there. So at the moment, no hits. Um, left got the ground, dug in at the front here, tried to move up, but at the moment, I'm still trying to hold on for American turn two. German turn three, um, I managed to keep pushing on a bit. Uh, I'm moving up through this wood with the infantry that started over here. They managed to get up there uh, unmolested. Uh, the guns are moving up with them but they're starting to bog down in the wood, which I kind of expected, but as they move out in the open they'll get killed. Uh, the, elephants, uh, the, the, the elephants couldn't go up this side because they would have no aircraft, anti aircraft umbrella, so they're coming around here. And on the way, one of them actually managed on a six to uh, kill an artillery piece. Um, which I was going to shoot at with my train, so the train had to go to these guys as they were going to ground. I needed sixes to range in because they were concealed and I couldn't get them. Um, over here, the broom bars, I continued to move up. I managed to hit a base, uh, killed a, a medium machine gun, and the infantry are edging up. You can see them start to go through the wood, um, but on the way, they've been doing some shooting and managed to hit a base but not kill it. And off note is the uh, over ambitious uh, armoured car platoon of one armoured car got bogged and stayed bogged. It was actually bogged a ton before. Um, so, uh, starting to close in now, but the reserves are starting to pour in. So, I think things are starting to get a bit uh, dangerous on oh, this other platoon at the back. I've, I've started to move them up because it's maybe time for me to uh, advance. No smoke for me that time because it was time for me just to do some damage. Okay, so this is the end of American turn three. So I rolled for my plane, didn't get a plane. Rolled for reserves, got one set of reserves on. So I brought in some mortars along the back to start possibly laying down some smoke um, from the next turn onwards. Um, tried to unpin my uh, gun platoon, which was uh, still pinned down, but failed to unpin, so they were out of action for this turn. But with the two guns on this side of the table, I did manage to have a go and destroy, even with the rear roll, the uh, broom bar at the front here quite conveniently because I think he might have been starting to come in for an assault here so that's another broom bar taken out so artillery at the moment taking out two broom bars um, this rifle M squad I've moved up just at six I didn't want to double time because there was a couple of machine guns that were possibly able to hit them if I did double time them these guys have stayed going to ground dug in ready for the inevitable assault coming in um, but at the end of turn three, at the moment, still only managed to kill, but quite impressive with two broom bars, which I think at the moment are my biggest threat, because um, they can actually do more damage to the infantry. In turn four, still trying to push up, but my broom bars dying is thinning me out dangerously. The elephants have moved up um, to try and get shots on this artillery battery. Um, they didn't stormtroop us, so they're right close together, it might be dangerous. One gun unbogged, um, and uh, one didn't. I've moved one of the guns further up. Um, the infantry are just filing into that wood. Uh, the broom bars fired, surviving broom bars fired, managed to kill a base. The heavy machine guns supporting infantry over here fired, hit a base, did nothing. Uh, oh, the scout unbogged and decided he wasn't going into the wood. Um, so he's moved around the side, and the, the mortars fired. Uh, uh, bazooka on the bottom of that hill and missed but the two infantry guns managed to cause a couple of deaths and quite a few hits on that platoon that was moving up. I was hoping to hit the artillery, that's what I was really going for but they managed to miss. Um, uh, not much stormtrooper because at the moment I, I'm not in a position to move forward because of threats of ambushes from anti-tank guns so uh, we'll see what uh, comes on in the way of reserves and Americans uh, turn four. Okay, this is the end of American turn four, so I'm actually another set of reserves on. So I've got um, my machine gun team on. I've had to keep them to this side of the building just so they're not in um, line of sight of that train because that potentially meant it was easier to range in on that target and open up this whole corner um, for any bombardment. So they've kept behind the building, just moving up to protect any assaults coming in this side. Um, I failed to unpin the artillery, um, so they're stuck another round doing nothing. Um, and I failed to unpin my infantry as well, they were pinned because of the artillery bombardment last round. So they managed to though successfully dig in to try and give them a bit of cover. This, they didn't dig in? No. They didn't dig in, they've not dug in. They've gone to ground. They've gone to ground, sorry, they've gone to ground, they didn't dig in, so they've just gone to ground. 
Um, this small um, two gun um, battery had a go at the broom bar as you can see ranged in but failed to do any damage so he's going to have to start moving again and I did manage to get two flights in on my aircraft but it uh, all eight, eight hit and okay. um, removing that aircraft so no attacks on his last broom bar in the middle there the only thing I really successful managed to do was with the mortars that came in last turn we slowed down smoke in front of his Ferdinand to, he's got to now move so Still really struggling, he's still not spun my ambush, I'm really struggling to get a side angle on these big guns and just hoping that uh, he comes forward just a little bit, I can spin my ambush and then start um, playing in lots of fire, but at the moment I'm still holding on. Turn 5, uh, we're having difficulty keeping track today. Uh, these infantry have continued to pile up through the town and into the woods so they're in a position to get to grips. Uh, the heavy machine, oh sorry, the, the scout's actually doing a fantastic job now, he's not stuck unless they've gone to ground and the heavy machine gun's backed up by some rifle fire, I've got quite a lot of hits on these guys but um, three up save and a, a six firepower's not going to do much. The broom bar's missed this turn, uh, the elephant's moved up through the smoke uh, and missed, it's quite hard to hit these veterans. Uh, the artillery from the train managed to range in this turn, we don't have a staff team so we have to roll every turn. Um, and uh, managed to hit three. They all three failed a three up save, but I failed my five up firepower. Uh, the guys in the woods um, just staying there just now, see what develops. Um, so that'll be it for German turn five. Over to the Yanks now. Okay, so it's, before it gets too late, it's time to launch an assault. So the um, uh, the elephants are going to go in. So it's closest to closest, and then maximising hits. I reckon there's nothing I can do there. You're going to get one chance to counter fire because I'm past your front, but not past these ones. Uh, so three days. Uh, one because you're pinned. Because there was lots of artillery and, and everything yeah, in the right. platoon. Four's a miss because, uh, no, four's a hit. Four's a hit. Yeah. And six is a save because you're ten against eight. So I've got two chances to hit. I roll a one and a five. So um, now let me see. You can actually take the observer. Take the observer out instead. Yeah, because he's within two inches. So he'll get killed. You now have to motivate to counter attack. And you fail, but your company commander is he within six inches off? Yeah, uh, that will be. That, that, that will be. It's, it's definitely within six. Yep. So you reroll it. You fail it. So you've got to break off. Uh, two inches. Uh, well, you've got to be at least two inches away, but if I move within four inches off you, um, yeah. so you, you, need to, you, you need to get. So I can move up to six then? Yep, nobody within four and move up to six. So, let's see how we're going to measure this. I just want to see a measure from the front, I'm just not going to get away. And with what's that be fine. Hills are slow going though. Oh, so they are. So. It's only four inches. Yeah. So this front's going to go here, but you're still so going to have them in. So I'll, I'll get that one. But leave them there because that will determine which direction I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. He's okay at the moment, we're going to get him. Right, okay, so I'll consolidate uh, and he'll go to there, which means that gets captured. He gets pushed back two inches. You got all the way. Have we not moved them back far enough? I, I think they're probably fine. I've maybe just moved them out too much, so so they're okay. Right. Um, now, there's more assault going on because these guys are going to put in an assault, right? 
Keep them away because they'll throw it. I just plant the dead anyway. So closest to closest and then maximising it. So you'll just go around like that. He's within two inches. So you're going to get a bit of counter fire. You've got a bazooka. Now I'm... Um, on the front now. I'm supposed to be in there so there's going to be some concealment. Uh, you shouldn't throw smoke so I'll get concealment for that in a song. Oh, for fives then? Um, normally we have four or five concealment, six because you are um, pinned. No. So I'll get two hits. I roll a five and a one so he's dead. There's nobody within four inches so that'll then be a salt. And then I can consolidate and, and push him away basically. Or I can actually, I can capture that gun. Uh, so he's, let me think. He can get. He's involved in this, right? Uh, no, you're behind it. You were behind it. Well, you couldn't kind of fire. Hell, yeah. You couldn't kind of fire. However, you can take another break off move. Move so another, back out the way. Yep. So this guy's gonna have to break off. He doesn't have to if you don't want to. It's not within four inches. Actually, because yeah, I want to try and move him in. Actually, yeah. But these guys will. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to want to move at least that one out of the way because. Yeah. I'll capture you if you don't. Doesn't have to move too far. That's my threat range. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to consolidate. I see everything in range. Four inches and that's going to push him back a bit. Out with four. Out with two. You just have to be out with two of them at this stage. And um you never motivated actually, did you? Did you want to charge him in? Well, he's, he's an engineer, so he can potentially do some well, damage. He's got, he's got a bazooka. Yeah. So try motivating him, because that could actually... No. Nah. Company commander. Oh, he's in here. I forgot about him. No. Nah. You're not made any motivation with that platoon or game. But there you go, so that'll end the assault. Um, so what I'll do just now, actually, then, is we'll, we'll just talk about the, uh, the rest of the turn. Um, so things are getting really desperate for the Germans, they were lucky to survive the last turn. So I positioned the elephants to attack around the flank. The broom bars moved just to get in machine gun position against the, all those bazookas. These guys all pointed out in the wood um, against the bazookas, the guns and the uh, uh, infantry. And then basically everything I had fired at the bazookas, I think yeah, it was. everything fired at this little team. Uh, there was artillery, um, mortars, infantry guns. I think the train, everything came in, yeah. Uh, the and basically got them down to just a commander left. So I started the assault by launching it against the, the anti-tank guns and then the broom bars went in. So that um, uh, would give give the best advantage, basically. Stop the guns potentially counter firing. I think he actually, just so that for the purposes, actually, I think he's just slid, but he should be just facing in there, isn't he? No, I am um, uh, pointing on fact. I point out because uh, he maybe needs to point in the right direction, I think. Aye. He was going like that, I was just trying to get, but he could yeah, still get in contact. I know he's not on his side. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, that's the gem has done a bit of damage towards that objective, however, there's a hell of a lot of really angry Americans now. Right, so, um, I'm going to concede in this. I've got a little bit of a, um, an attack on. It's turn six, there's a hell of a lot of uh, Americans there. I might start piling my guys over the the wire to join in, but to be honest, it, it would take a hell of a long time. So we're going to give that to the, the Yanks as a 6-1. Um, though strangely enough, at least to the point of my conceding, uh, I think I would have lost platoons quite easily from then on, but I hadn't lost a platoon until then. No, um, I lost. Uh, I don't think I could have done much more there. The, the terrain was actually a killer. I couldn't see anything in the whole game. I had this big battery here ready to and mortars and everything already drop smoke and then I'm gonna go swarming in. I couldn't see anything. Um the the the, the Americans basically Brian picked the right end of the table to defend. If he chose that end because of the craters and the houses, he probably would have had me all over him a lot quicker. As it was I couldn't see anything. Yeah, I think this was good because of the cover this gave and sort of protected here. And see I think the be benefit here was my engineers were ready for the assault in here. So I think that's 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 their that's their that's the strongest point. They've got bazookas, their engineers, gamma bombs. They're going to go in and do a lot of damage there. So at least they never got, I was probably too careful with them, but at least they never got uh, 
slaughtered and, and maybe in a different terrain having four sources of smoke maybe would have done them uh, enough to get them in to the fight and do a bit of damage. Marmor saves were atrocious all game. All the road above two once, which is pretty poor, but that always do it after Brian's rolls in the last game. But there you go. Uh, it was a bit of tuna thrown, but I think that was an easy one for the Yanks.